Thank you. Um, for reasons that have to do with logistics, budget, and security, residents of slums are typically excluded from national representative surveys in most developing countries. Uh, most surveys in these areas are conducted face-to-face -face with some so form of multi-stage area sampling that requires information about how to divide um, the population. Uh, and information, this, th this type of information is typically found on census data and, and census uh, maps. Slums, however, are rarely mapped and surveyed by government agencies, and even when they are, slums maps often lack um, the inner streets and alleys that polling firms and researchers need to properly select households for surveys. At the same time, when conducting surveys, polling firms often have to replace units when the, those units are either too remote, too dangerous, or too inaccessible, and of course, uh, compared to other poor neighborhoods, slums tend to be more dangerous and tend to become inaccessible, uh, for example, when it rains um, a lot. So even in, in cases in which maps exist, slums tend to be substituted by other similar um, areas. As a consequence of this, a lot of what we know today about voters' political behavior is informed by quantitative studies um, that too often exclude the poorest and most vulnerable population, people living in slums. Of course, the omission is problematic in general, but in particular for, for what I care um, here, which is political behavior, what I study, there are good reasons to, to think that the electoral context is in, in slums is very different. People living in slums often lack property rights, um, they are often exposed to environmental shocks, and they, they have access to basic public resources and services. Their access is often uh, discretionary. So the electoral context is very different, it's often one of clientelism and vulnerability, and we cannot really hope to understand how politics in these settings works if we assume that we, what we know about voters in other settings applies uh, universally. So my project um, here during this year is trying to understand how and why voters' political behavior differs across slum dwellers and equally poor urban uh, non-slum uh, dwellers. Thank you.